Organic tomatoes and chicken droppings turned into biogas. At the Songhai farm in Benin, nothing goes to waste. In the 30 years since it was set up by Godfrey Nazamujo, it's become a model for farming in Africa. Its aims? Maximize yields without using chemicals, which are expensive for farmers and harmful to health. It's not just any production, but clean production, a production which ensures good health for producers, consumers and for the soil. We really put agriculture at the center of nature and people. From just one parcel of land in 1985, Songhai now sprawls over 24 hectares. All the produce is grown and distributed on site, creating a micro-economy. We fixed this image of Africa, Africa holding out its hand, Africa the victim. But when you look at the young people today, they're standing tall, ready to fight and to seize the future. Every day, an army of staff and apprentices get their hands dirty, growing fruit, vegetables and rice, whilst also tending fish and raising livestock. Paul wants to follow his parents into farming, but make it more profitable. With modern methods, things take less time. What we used to do in two days, we now do in two hours. That's what's impressed me most at Songhai. As well as tackling the challenges of poverty and the environment, Songhai prizes education, and it's also a school. Every year, 400 students are selected and trained. Back in their villages, they'll put modern organic techniques into practice. Songhai has been used as a blueprint to take the concept outside Benin. Centers are already open in Nigeria, Sierra Leone and Liberia. And with 13 other countries in West and Central Africa in the pipeline, many farms will be hoping to put their experience at Songhai into practice.